Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you have seen over here, we have uh, done this modeling of the stall design. So let's continue with the texturing part. So texturing is uh, quite easy for it as we have mostly all the colors over here. So let's we'll be doing it with the V-Ray texturing. So let's go into rendering, render setup and let's go into it and set it as a V-Ray and let's set the output size as your HD over here. So <clears throat> let's go into material, let's go into mode and let's make it as a slate editor. So now what I'm going to do over here is like I'm just going to take a V-Ray material. <coughs> so let's take a V-Ray material over here. So now we are going to texture what we need to uh, select that first. So let's uh, select this thing like uh, we'll be selecting this whole stuff. We'll be selecting this whole uh, element by selecting its uh, polygons over here. So we'll be assigning one color to it. Let's assign uh, as a white color over here. So let's push this over here, set it as a white color and we can rename the material uh, as uh, for now we'll rename it as a white underscore ceiling or something and assign this uh, material over here. You don't require to set always a white material. You can set it to a bit of yellowish so that gives uh, looks good over here. So after you are done with this, so there is nothing more with the texturing part over here. So again select this element over here, select this. Let's go into material and let's assign the same material over here. So select this and this and this. So select this uh, all over here and let's assign the same material. After you're done with this, just select it. Let's go into the polygons. Let's go into material and let's take another V-Ray material. So into that uh, V-Ray material, let's go into this diffuse, take the eyedropper tool and you know, just pick a color, assign it, inverse it, control I, that's for inverse. And let's assign the same material over here as you have done it. So select this element over here, so we'll assign the same texture. So select the polygons, I don't need uh, the same texture over here. So I'll go over here and I'll assign the different texture on the inner part over here. So for this uh, stuff over here, we can uh, use a swift loop or you can just select all of this, select this and just cancel it. So you can just connect it. So press 4. Uh, let's go into material and if you have any kind of uh, ad to be displayed, advertisement. So let's go into it and set it.
so I'll be displaying some ads like this so let's go into this and uh, set up a UVW map convert to poly so we'll be definitely uh, adding some lights also so just select all of this and let's uh, give a bit of a metallic look over here so let's give a metallic look so press M so let's go into material and let's take a V-ray material over here so let's go into it and let's give a bit of a white color reflect you need it uh, full reflect and also you can activate this stuff So fractional reflections and just assign it as name it as a metal over here so if you have a metal texture you can uh, also go with the normal maps also so if you have uh, with the normal map you have uh, option over here that's your V-ray So you can go with this V-Ray normal map. You have a V-Ray normal map. So this normal map, uh, you know, you can add a normal map over here, and you can connect this uh, with a bump map. So normal map definitely, uh, you know, it is helpful for giving the depth. So I can say the normal depth gives more. You know, we can say like. Uh, it gives you depth in the form of your RGB colors and bump map gives you depth only in your black and white so normal map is more advanced you know we can say uh, beneficial so we'll come to that so I'll just remove it right now I don't need it so we have assigned this uh, metal over here we can just check it out how it looks like Oh. you can just select it all and convert to poly and let's render it okay so select this the base and let's give the same color to the base as applied over here so select this stuff over here again select this and assign the same color to it so wherever it is required to assign the same color to just assign the same color So let's go on assigning all of this uh, elements. Oops. Don't need on the full part. Okay. So we don't have a uh, that color over here so we're not going to assign that 
So same thing over here, we are going to uh, assign the material. First we'll take some loops over here. So press 4, go into material and if you need the same image, we can assign the same image over here. And let's go into it and <coughs> set it as a UEW map, give a modifier of UEW map, A double poly. So select all of this now. And assign the same uh, metal material. That's it. All right. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.